Yet you were still able to come into the circle of the midst of people who are not smoking and smoke inside of them and yet still expose them to something that is mm -hmm. detrimental to them. And you did this because it felt comfortable to you even though you didn't ask them, is it okay for them mm -hmm. to be exposed to it? This is the majority of white America. This is how white America destroyed the Indians by yep. exposing them to chicken pox and never asked them how do they like living the way that they are. Now, no offense to you, but what I'm it's saying is, wait, 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 no, 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 what's offensive to me is I don't have cancer and I don't want it and yet you're smoking in front of me. And, and you're, you're going to get it anyway because we all die somehow. No, 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 I'm not going to, wow. do you hear what you just said? Out of respect, yeah, okay. you would say, you know what? You don't want to have me smoking around you, so I'm gonna. Un well, then you could have asked out me, the please. Man. I, don't want I shouldn't have had to ask face. you because the you know what you're doing is detrimental. But, but now you're taking. Wait, wait, wait! Other Hold on! Stop! Stop! And make I did. Me no, no, no! Let me ask you simply. I, I did not ask you to join my conversation amongst okay, me and the well, people who paid to have it. I, if you are going I to wouldn't. bring an outside substance that is detrimental to those other people, maybe we should leave that in order to join that conversation. Is My, that fair? It, is it that was fair? Not detrimental because all it I is said detrimental. Was to I just told yourself. you. Once I just told you, you should say, smoke "Okay, I feel you." Well, I just told you. I just told you. I don't smoke. So then Either you, you should. should un I don't have away. to ask you. I just told you. Yep. Mm -hmm. I just told you I don't smoke. Do you guys understand? This is why I talk to black people the way that I talk to black people. Because this woman who knows I just now told her I don't smoke, we are not smoking. She should say, oh my bad, let me put this out. But because she is the bastion of civility and we are the savages. And I'm so sorry that you feel that way. You should be sorry that you're doing that. No, I'm not. Of course you're not, I, because you are civility. No, because you changed that entire conversation about love and everything. And you could have continued smoking. the conversation by just putting out the cigarette. Oh. Because I've done that several times. If you ask, People have, I shouldn't have had to ask you. You know it's a problem. We're outside. Do you guys see? She keeps saying I have to ask her. You know what? Think about it. I have to ask her to do something that I've you openly said is a problem. You are the problem. With this world, dear, I am the solution. Yeah. <laughs> because I got you that to quick. walk away upset. I love myself. When I can make a white chick mad, my day went well. <laughs> and you still ain't learned. Love. And you know what? That's Love would have allowed you to not give me cancer. <laughs> Love would allow you to not talk. I haven't given you cancer. Like, you do You are what? offended. I am medically I'm hurt. Not, I'm not offended at all. Then you should be able to walk away like I've sat up here and sucked up that damn carcinogenogen that you give me. Carcinogenic, what, what is the word? I'm drunk. So, carcinogen, what is the word? Carcinogen. So, so you're the judge of I'm not judging. You're I'm telling you what judge. you're actually doing. Oh, you're the judge. You're actually doing it, dear. You're the judge. You're actually doing it. Thank you. <laughs> Even the white guy said you're Wait, actually you doing it. Do you see this man? You're actually smoking. Everything she's doing is it. <laughs> you're actually smoking. I'm not making this up. You are a racist. And you have no idea. How am I racist? If you don't know do you know what racism is? I do. Because I was born in the city. And let me racism is a system in which you oppress. You don't love yourself. Racism you is a system. You don't even love yourself. And this is being said by the woman who's smoking herself to death. Uh, guess what? We all die. We all die. Then I should die by racism. So just as you can die by smoking, I want to die by racism. We good? We good? Good night, everybody. That's what I'm talking about. All right, Come on, all right, man. Right, man. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. So I love when you been Ethan. <laughs> you see how she sat up there and thought that I was gonna go along with the bullshit because the white chick comes in the middle of black you, people and you Jesus. How is real? Yeah, that's an Ethan right How many of y'all have heard me say? The worst thing that ever happened is I listen to when white people come, I get more mad at them than anybody else because I get pissed at them because they think that they can civilize us. 
because they think that they can do the whole higher learning to us. I don't need you to tell me common sense. I know common sense, motherfucker. I taught you mathematics. I taught you. I, I taught you this shit. And the difference between me and the Umar Johnsons and all that shit, I actually believe it. So you can't tell me anything more than I know. Matter of fact, I can teach you more than you know. Exactly. Exactly. Come from I us. learned that from the Nigerians. Exactly. Yeah. They listen to me talking. They like you still don't get it. <laughs> and I started to feel bad. I was like, how the fuck you talking to me like that punk ass? <laughs> I'm talking that good shit. He was like, you still don't get it. <laughs> and I realized what that meant. White folks think we too stupid to learn. That's why during the show I said, they look at us like my cat. Yeah. They gave us a bonnet because they think we too stupid to learn. Uh -huh. And I told them when I took the SAT, I made a perfect score. The only nigga did it in Georgia on the math because I said that's logic and common sense and no matter how many videos they put out ain't nobody been able to dispute that why because mm -hmm. it's true because I look at what I do and I look at who they are and I understand that literally white people have been able to get away amongst black people like Rachel Dolezal and anybody else just by being white they can walk around you be white and you accept everything they fucking say not me and I become an enemy because you have to tell me the truth. I don't care if you black, white, tall, short, gay, or straight. If you tell me the truth, I listen. Thank you. If you tell me a lie, fuck you. What actually happened there is this when the moment she tried to tell you something different about she wasn't accepting. What she was, a white woman, like she could accept herself. Yep. Yeah, but, yeah. Is he contradicting herself? Well, she didn't accept herself. Yes, but that's okay. She didn't accept that she's white and that she's white. You're not going to listen. Why would to tell me listen. you're the problem, there is no difference. That's the stupidest that shit I've yeah, ever heard. Yeah. I would never tell a person that rolled up in a wheelchair that there's no difference between me walking up steps and him rolling up. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. There is a difference. And in America, what we have done is marginalized differences. We try to tell everybody that they all have the same opportunities. That's bullshit. Not everybody has the same opportunities. My daughter has a different set of opportunities than your child, than your child. I know this. I'm not going to act like my child has the exact same opportunities. As a matter of fact, I want my daughter to embrace the fact that she has it a little bit easier than some Someone else because her dad worked his fucking ass off to make sure it's possible. Yep. People got mad at me when I was dating this white girl. She said, Oh, I feel so bad for black people. I said, Why? She said, Because I've had different opportunities than they've had. I said, Because your fucking family worked for it. If you work for something, don't feel bad that you did. That's how wealth is created. That's how wealth is passed down. In the in the equivalent of what this man is doing, this man said, if I work for this dude in the back end, I will be able to make for myself. I will be able to do for myself. His mentality will allow him to grow. He didn't say, Fuck it. he got more than I got. I'm going to take it from him. Yeah. He said, no, nah, I'm going to sneak some shit that he do that I can learn for fucking free. Yeah. And I did the same thing. When I hung out with white folks at IBM, guess what happened? I appreciate everything they did because I learned how to run a business. And I took it and I ran my own business. I didn't look and say, 